Hi dear friends and uh, subscribers, uh, welcome to the Cricket Happening Show as usual. Uh, in this part of the Cricket Happening Show, we are going to look at the last one day international match of the Indian, India vs England series, which happened yesterday at a ground which was actually uh, making its debut as far as one day international was concerned. This was played at the Himachal Pradesh Cricket Association Stadium in Dharamsala, which as I said is overlooking the Himalayas and the mountains. So basically uh, the climate was uh, pretty pretty cold. Uh, there was a real uh, uh, what a, a sort of a breeze in the air. I mean uh, there was a real sort of breeze blowing there and uh, conditions were absolutely ideal as far as seam bowling was concerned. And the, the toss was absolutely vital as I said in my preview too that uh, the toss was pretty pretty vital and well as I said that the toss was very vital and the toss was won by England and England not only won the toss they also won this match by seven wickets and England at least salvaging something uh, in this one day international series with the score line uh, not being 4-1 but being 3-2 and as far as um, India were concerned for India the only good thing for them was that even though uh, this match was uh, this was the final one day international match uh, they they were they were still on top of the ODI ranking, so that is something that India would be very happy about. But one was pretty pretty surprised as far as India was concerned, uh, like why there was no experimentation being done because it was a match which is just a mere formality. Uh, I really really failed to understand uh, why there were no experiments being done. I was under the impression that probably Chiteshwar Pujara might be uh, pushed into the uh, in, into the uh, opening, I mean, uh, pushed into opening uh, with uh, Rohit Sharma, but unfortunately, it was not the case. They decided to go with Gambhir and Sharma, and in fact, India had an unchanged side. So that was something uh, came as a real surprise for me because there was nothing in it. So this was the time for India to go and really experiment things and put Chateshwar Pujara there. But well, they didn't do that. So uh, for me, as a person, I thought it came as a surprise for me. I wouldn't know how others felt about it. Uh, and as far as uh, England were concerned, well, England had a change in their uh, lineup. They had uh, Butler uh, coming into the team, uh, and sort of another. There was no Meeker, and they decided to go for uh, uh, Tim Bresnan. And Tim Bresnan, who had such a, uh, I mean, a forgetful series against in India uh, in this in this particular tour, finally managed to pick up two wickets, and uh, he was the one who actually you make the, made full use of the. Uh, seeming conditions here at the Himachal Pradesh Cricket Association Stadium in Dharamsala where he bowled 9.4 overs, one maiden, 45 runs and 4 wickets. In fact, he also uh, got uh, uh, two wickets uh, right at the beginning with India reduced to 13 for 2 at one stage. Uh, not only that, and after that he came and uh, uh, picked up, the, he, he, cleaned up he cleaned up the tail uh, and um, that was the precise reason that India actually had to be all out for 226. So just talking about the game, uh, England, uh, I mean England won the toss, inserted India in, Gautam Gambhir and Rohit Sharma came out to open. Rohit Sharma after playing a beautiful square drive uh, for a boundary uh, was a victim of Bresnan. As I said, Bresnan was not looked the real Bresnan as far as uh, this particular tour is concerned. Finally uh, managed to you know, get some wickets under his belt. In fact, he was the one who provided the breakthrough with Rohit Sharma uh, getting a ball which he had just squared even Bresnan for a boundary. And this uh, particular ball was also a similar shot which was played by Rohit Sharma. The only difference being Rohit Sharma uh, had, had not gone uh, fully to the pitch of the ball and in the end he had played away from his body and Treadwell in the slips who juggled with the catch finally clung on he was gone, caught Treadwell ball, Bresnan for four of nine balls with one four and Virat Kohli didn't even trouble the scorers as he was gone. Once again the same combination, uh, Bresnan once again, the very next time, in fact Virat Kohli was out for the, uh, out to the very first ball that he faced. He came in and the very first ball Virat Kohli nicked, to, uh, nicked into the slips. Again, uh, not a good shot from Virat Kohli, the ball was swinging away, Virat Kohli nibbled at it, Treadwell uh, in the slips took the catch of the bowling of Bresnan. So it was a familiar uh, looking uh, uh, score line that caught Treadwell, bowled Bresnan and this, this time Virat Kohli was out for a duck and India were 13 for 2. 
Yuvraj Singh uh, came in and Yuvraj Singh, the, uh, one of the strokes, he, uh, he actually, uh, he was also another person uh, who never troubled the scorers. He tried to flick a delivery uh, but uh, resulted in a leading edge. Morgan took the catch, the baller was Stephen Finn and India were in deep trouble at 24 for 3. And then Gautam Gambhir, after looking good uh, after a long time in his uh, knock of 24 or 42 balls, uh, was a victim of Treadwell. As Treadwell flighted the delivery, Gambhir accepted the bait, but he was gone. Caught well, bowled Treadwell for 24, and India were in trouble at 49 for 4, and the ever-reliable Dhoni came out to bat and joined Suresh Raina. Well, Suresh Raina, the first ball that he got from Finn was a bouncer, hit him on the shoulder, but he carried on, uh, he really fought it out like a warrior there and uh, Mahindra Singh Dhoni, in fact Suresh Raina was the savior for India because the reason that India reached uh, 226 all out was due to the fact that Suresh Raina uh, battled there, took his time, stabilized the innings, then slowly opened up and uh, Dhoni as I said, the ever reliable person walked then and he was gone, uh, nipped LBW by Stephen Finn for 15 of 23 balls with two fours and India were 79 for 5. And then Ravinder Jadeja, who is a much improved all-rounder, came in and joined uh, Raina. And that was the partnership which started building. Uh, even though, Do even, even though uh, Dhoni was a person who made only 15 runs, it was Shuresh Raina who was doing the scoring. And they pushed on the, after, after Dhoni left, uh, in fact, Dhoni, um, uh, Shuresh Raina started doing the scoring. And he had good company from Ravinder Jadeja. Uh, who contributed a very good 39 of 65 balls with 1-4 and 2-6. He was, um, uh, the next to go was Ravinder Jadeja after being caught bell bowl travel for 39. Uh, and uh, Shuresh Raina was still there, but Shuresh Raina uh, was joined in by Bhuneshwar Kumar at that time. And the score uh, pushed on from uh, 157 under 30 runs were added before Shuresh Raina who played so well. And as I said, he was the real savior for India there for India to get a knock of, uh, I mean, get a total of 226. Vokes was the one who got his wicket and that was a very important wicket for England because if Raina would have been there, and as you know, Raina, if he would have been there, he would have really, because Raina was departed in the 42nd over and if Raina would have been there, he would have really hurt England uh, by probably this Indian score would have swelled to 250. Because not so, Vokes took the, uh, uh, took the wicket of uh, Shreish Raina after making 83 of 98 balls, 8 fours and 2 sixes, he had to walk back to the pavilion. And India won 77 for 7. But after that, they got some uh, very useful contribution. Bhuvaneshwar Kumar um, showed that he can really bat as well. And he contributed 31 of 30 balls with 5 fours. Ashwin, uh, another no mug with the bat. He made 19 of 21 balls with 1 four and 1 six. And finally, Bresnan wrapped it up as he caught and bowled uh, Tim Bresnan. Uh, sorry, uh, caught and bowled Shami Ahmed. Ishan Sharma was not out on not. 226 all out was the uh, Indian score uh, after batting first. The bowling figures, uh, as I said, Bresnan was pretty impressive, 9.4 overs, 1 million 45 runs and 4 wickets. Uh, at least uh, Bresnan would have had the satisfaction uh, that he did something of note uh, just before returning to England uh, as far as Bresnan is concerned. Uh, but Stephen Finn was on the money, 10 overs, 2 million 27 runs, 2 wickets. Uh, Works, 9 overs, 1 million 1 for 45. Uh, Treadwell continued to impress and I'm pretty pretty impressed by Treadwell, uh, the way he bowls, he flights the ball, he's not afraid to flight the ball which is a very very good thing, which is very important for a spinner, he has a good loop too and uh, Treadwell I think uh, would have, uh, I mean uh, I, want, I would love to see uh, Treadwell bowling in New Zealand, 10 overs 1 made and 2 for 25 for him, Root 5 overs 1 for 34, 6 overs 1 for 46 for Samit Patel. As far as England were concerned, well, England 226 was not a big score and uh, it, was, uh, it was always an advantage for the team which was batting first here at Dharamshala. Um, I mean, the team batting first had to really negotiate tough conditions, but as the day wore on, uh, batting became a bit easy for the Englishman. Alistair Cook and Ian Bell opened the innings. Well, Alistair Cook uh, was the early victim. He was, after uh, a 50-run partnership uh, was put up by Ian Bell and Alistair Cook, uh, Alistair Cook departed, clean ball by Shinsham of 22 or 40 balls with 5 fours. Uh, Kevin Peterson was uh, snapped up by Jadeja of the bowling of Shami Ahmed for 6. And after that it was left to Ian Bell who played some glorious strokes. Uh, he, he, I mean, I wouldn't say uh, it was a pretty, uh, it was a, it was, it, I wouldn't say it was a pretty innings. But yes, he definitely played some very, very good strokes. He also hit 1-6 um, in that particular uh, knock of his. In fact, he lofted Ashwin for a six. 
uh, Ian Bell, um, as you know, he played some, uh, um, I mean, he, he got good company from Joe Root at the other end, who contributed 31 or 49 balls with four fours. Uh, and then in the end, Ian Morgan uh, gave him company uh, for Ian Bell to actually reach to his century. And in fact, Ian Bell had a very good 113 to his name, unbeaten runs of 143 balls with 13 fours and one six. Morgan was not out on 40 of as many balls. He had three sixes in that knock without a boundary. 227 for three England had um, actually romped home uh, in the 48th over to salvage something in the series with a scoreline rating 3-2 as the uh, series ended. As far as the bowling figures were concerned, uh, Bhuvneshwar Kumar, 9 overs, 1 minute, 1 for 45. Shami Ahmed, 9 overs, 1 minute, 1 for 46. Ishan Sharma looked sharp and impressive, 10 overs, 3 minutes, 1 for 37 for him. Ashwin was a bit costly, 10 overs for 50 runs for him. Yuvraj Singh, 2 overs, went for 15. Jadeja, 7.2 overs, no minute, 1 for 26. The man of the match rightly went to Ian Bell. But Suresh Raina, because of his consistent scoring in this particular tournament, which was very essential and very important for India, um, uh, played a very good role uh, in this uh, one-day international series victory over England, was named man of the series. And that would uh, really be something that uh, Suresh Raina will be definitely happy about. Uh, okay, so now as the, so this is as far as the one-day international tour is concerned. So the one-day international series uh, ended with India winning the cup 3-2 uh, and also being on the top of the ODI rankings. So congratulations to India. Now uh, let's look at some, I mean, as you know, today there is a match coming up. This is the last match for Sri Lanka on their tour of Australia. You know, the test series uh, was leveled, uh, sorry, the test series, they got beaten 2-0. Uh, Australia leveled the one-day series and Sri Lanka right now in their driver's seat act, ha having won the first uh, T20 match. Today the second T20 is going to be played. It is going to be played at the MCG. Uh, one, one is told um, that it would be good for batting and Sri Lanka would be hoping uh, that they put it across Australia and they, when they walk off from the Australian shores, Australian uh, land, they, uh, they feel quite satisfied uh, with the victory over Australia. If they could do that, uh, that would be something uh, Sri Lanka would be uh, pretty, pretty uh, glad about. Uh, but, um, uh, well, you know, Sri Lanka, they are, um, they are looking good. Uh, the other day we saw Dilshan, Kushal Pereira, uh, Jay Vardhane, Chandi Mal. It, it looks a very good uh, team composition. Uh, Lasit Malinga is there. He's already, as you know, he did very well in the Big Bash League too. And uh, Australian players know that what is his importance. As far as Australia is concerned, Aaron Finch. Uh, now they are persisting with Aaron Finch, uh, which is uh, something which is good. But Aaron Finch definitely, uh, it's high time that he gets uh, some runs under his belt because he's having that prowess uh, to have placed some big strokes. And uh, David Warner is in some form. Well, if Australia will be hoping uh, that uh, David Warner and Aaron Finch uh, click at the same time uh, so that uh, they can uh, really. Uh, go uh, with all guns blazing at the Sri Lankan bowlers. Uh, then they have Sean Marsh. Uh, I'm, I'm sure Sean Marsh is a wonderful player. George Bailey, the captain, always leads by example. Adam Bogues was impressive the previous match. Matthew Wade is the wicketkeeper. Glenn Maxwell would be liking to have a good knock there. Uh, then they have Ben Cudding. James Faulkner uh, could walk in as Ben Lawlin was uh, pretty costly the other day. And James Faulkner might make his debut. Um, and he might be playing his first man. And then they have Mitchell Stark and Javier Doherty. So that is the final T20 match which is coming of the series and that would bring an end to this uh, Sri Lankan tour of Australia. Sri Lanka would like to finish it off in a high. Australia would like to level the series. So that is coming up today. Uh, the other cricket news that I have uh, is that this is coming in from, uh, from South Africa. Uh, Pakistan have uh, actually gone for two more pace bowlers. Uh, they have gone for uh, Tanvi Rahmat and they have gone for Rahat Ali. Uh, they, have, they, are, they are probably going to reinforce the squad, uh, bringing these two uh, pace bowlers uh, to South Africa. And uh, Graham Thorpe uh, is the new uh, batting coach uh, as far as England is concerned. Graham Gooch uh, is going to be replaced by Graham Thorpe. So that is one news, another news that I would like to talk about. And Jesse Ryder would like to still take his time uh, to get things um, settled before he uh, says that he would be getting back into the New Zealand lineup. So that brings an end to my Cricket Happening show for today. I hope you all enjoyed it. This is your host Ram uh, signing off for the day. Thank you.